to another episode of Open Line News Media Forum, where all lines are open to discuss relevant issues and topics in governance, business, politics, economics, entertainment, arts, culture, among many others. We'd like to say good morning, a happy Tuesday morning, especially to the fresh faces who are joining us this Tuesday morning. Maayong buntag kaninyo. And of course, we'd also like to say good morning to our live viewers who are watching this over my TV Cebu's Facebook page and YouTube channel. Again, good morning sa tanan. My name is Andrea Patania Matthew, one of your hosts and moderators for today's forum. And of course, joining me is Mr. Eric Espina. Um, thank you very much, uh, partner. And um, it's my function and duty to welcome also all of you and introduce uh, our guest. No? Uh, so I'll start with my left and then going towards uh, the right. My partner is Andrea. The one beside the her is Adrian. So Adrian Lee, who is the uh, uh, director of the Mandawi Chamber of Commerce and Industry, he will also be, uh, uh, I think they have a project called the uh, MCCI Business Summit uh, for 2022. Uh, he is the chair. Uh, and then as well, he is also the president of the Cebu Centennial Lions Club for uh, year 22 to 23. Let's welcome him. Pakpakisan ninyo eh. <laughs> and then to my uh, immediate right is uh, Police uh, Lieutenant Colonel Wilbert uh, Parilla, who is the Deputy City Director for Administration, Cebu City Police Office. <laughs> oh, kana, kana. Pakpakisan ninyo, kana. Salamat. All right, Sir Eric. This time, would you like to shoot the first question? Of course, yeah. they are here to represent different sectors, police matters, yes. and of course, see, Sir Adrian, he's going to talk about their um, upcoming Art for Cure exhibit. At the same time, they also have an ongoing um, plastic barter store, mm -hmm. and they recently opened um, a new store, Sir, no? Last July, July 11. Would okay. you like to start the first question, Sir Eric? Very apropos kay Kwan Man, shoot the first question. So, kaning niya sa right side, mo shoot man sa ni. So, uh, first question ako, Kwan, uh, Colonel Parilla, no? kaning, sa imong pananaw, dugay na bang kadini sa Cebu City, um, kung sa mga kinahanlan sa atong kapulisan, tabi na din sa Cebu City, nga matabang sa City Hall, so that you will become more effective in atong mga kapulisan, mga himong effective sa ilang mga trabaho, bagong auto, bagong motor, unsa may mga kinahanglan. Uh, good morning, everyone. No? Uh, to all our viewers, and especially to the people of Cebu, in behalf of our City Director, Police Colonel uh, Ernesto Salvador Tagle, mayong muntag ka natong ganan. So for us in the PNP, especially in Cebu City Police Office, uh, para effectively, ma ka perform ta sa tuang duty it's a fact that uh, the PNP really needs more logistical support in terms of uh, vehicles as you have said sir motorcycles especially karon sa trend sa tuang crime that it needs fast response to any call of crime so mas paspas ang ato ang response if we have those motorcycles we have and as part of our program nowadays, especially nga may balik na ang atuang economy, may balik na ang atong katawahan pagawas, and uh, the coming of face-to-face -face class this coming August, we expect that na medyo taas taas good ang risgo nga may increase sa crime. That's why as early as now, we are already planning kung unsa ito ang mga activities, unsa ito ang mga preparations nga buhaton in, ter in terms of anti-criminality. So one of the things that we have focused on is the putting back our motorcycle patrol. And as of now, medyo daan-daan na gandang ito ang mga motorcycles. No? So that is one of our requests uh, to the chairman of the Peace and Order of the Cebu City, which is Councilor Safra. In fact, this afternoon, we will have a meeting and to focus on the anti-criminality uh, anti campaign of the Cebu City Police Office. So we will presenting them on our uh, proposed activities, uh, hoping that they can also support us. Follow up lang quickly, kaning 
kung pagutanon ka karon pila makabook more or less ang imong mga plano nga kinahanglan gyud ninyo la do you need 10 motorcycles 15 motorcycles and then what would be your effectivity level if you were given maybe just only 5 or 7 and then iapil na sad ning unsa ning mga plano ninyo mga anti criminal campaigns so before no uh, we have our SWAT personnel uh, we, naka motorcycle ni sila so mas aggressive ang presence ato ang uh, kapulisan the mere presence of our police in every corner is already a deterrent so the more uh, motorcycles that we will put on the street the more it is effective because the mere presence it's all it's, uh, as i have said it is already a deterrent so ma prevent na nato ang occurring sa crime uh, with the presence the more presence of our policemen on the street and at the same time uh, proactive ni siya nga response just in case do nay mga tawag sa alarma no ang ato motorcycle patrol kan immediately respond to the crime so unlike with uh, our uh, mobile patrols nga medyo karon sad himbalik na sad ang ato ang traffic so it will take time before they can respond so as of now ato naman na, mo na ato ang programa sa PNP it is more on proactive so dispatching our personnel all of our all available personnel should be dispatched on the street uh, to feel the people that the police is there, police presence. No specific number, good. Kung pila pang ayo niyo pull 10, 15, 20, when what would be the most effective for you? For us, no. Kung ang ato ang tanang police stations, we have 11 police stations. So even they have two uh, motorcycle each and 20 motorcycle for our SWAT personnel, that would be uh, a good number already. Sir, could you tell us about um, the crime incidents nga nibalik na karong panahon na? Sir, unsan na inyo mga gipang tutukan? Kimurag, nagsugod na kabibo ang kadalanan. Sukad nga nagmingaw pag start sa pandemic. Dunay duha ka mga videos nga nag-viral so far. One katong snatching incident sa may lahug and then kato sang gigukod sa nurse katong nasnatchan pod unsa ning uban uh, mga krimen nga inyong gipang um, bantayan karon sir with all the crimes uh, eight focus crime that is the <clears throat> munay ato ang reference when we say uh, the public safety you no know, with, uh, with uh, it comes to public safety so that is the eight, eight focus crime so that is the theft robbery murder rape homicide, physical injuries, and uncurnapping. Out of those eight focus crime, that is what we call the eight focus crime, muna ito ang determinant factor kung hinsaka ni siya. So it means there is really a problem with our anti-criminality campaign. So as of now, kung atong tanahon, ang total niya aning eight, i-compare na to with the same, the same period, hing lower ta. But karon, one specific uh, crime ang atong hintaas is, which is theft. Theft guide ang ato ang mitas. So, all other crimes considered as uh, appeal sa eight focus crime, it's only theft. No? So, munang ma-appeal na ito, itong snatching, din ha, katong gigukod sa uh, nurse. And, katong pag yung previous pag yun, nga katong late night, that was late night, nga doon ay gisnatsan sa the in front, uh, diha sa may IT park. So, we immediately address with that, no? Nga, as I have said, Every week, we have, we have what we call uh, oversight conference. So we have to study all the incidents in the previous week, what transpired, so that we can adjust on our deployment. So our deployment uh, will be based on the crimes that happened in the previous week. So it will be based on the crime, crime map. So what is that crime map? The place of the occurrence of the crime. So crime clock is the time that crime was committed. And... Uh, the crime days, what specific days that there are more crimes happened. So, diha mag-focus ang ato ang deployment. So, diha magbasi ang ato ang deployment sa ato ang personnel. So, weekly, it will be adjusted based on those parameters. Could you give us statistics, sir, by how much um, how much percentage ni Saka atong mga cases of theft lately, sir? Uh, for, I will check later, ha? Ah. I will just give you uh, na magut sa kuang kuang. But, uh, for this week, for this week alone, no? so we have three uh, in the last Monday, yesterday. So on our oversight conference, in the previous week covers January, uh, July 10 to 16, we have only eight crimes 
uh, recorded. No? That is very low for Cebu City. So it means there are places or there are stations that there was no crime at all. No? So ang pinakataas nga krimen na to is uh, physical injuries. No? So physical injuries and we have two murders last, last week. So we don't have rape and we don't have carnapping and we don't have homicide. No, so, only one incident of theft and one incident of robbery. So, it means our deployment in the past week with regards to theft and robbery was also effective. Mm -hmm. And we have only on those two uh, incidents, we increased ang atuang border, which has two incidents. So, actually, it has only eight. But on the previous week, covering July 3 to 9, we have 19 incidents. So, hing napaobos na to in the previous week of eight. So, 50% ang atuang pagpa-increase. Uh, pagpa decrease so it means ang ato ang deployment is effective so in the other in the previous period we have nine and in the previous period we have 26 so mo makita sigsag no so it means ang ang mga criminals they are also uh, finding ways nga dili sad sila madakpan so it's uh, uh, for us the PNP we should be one step ahead of those criminals that we have to focus kung unsa ilahang mga modus in committing crimes Follow up to that, sir. Duna ba yung mga bagong modus karon ang mga kawatan? So far, the same. Only that they are also cautious kung naasad ang police digil sila mo commit of crimes. So sometimes, manggod, we have a lot of activities. Just like karon, you know, we have uh, all our, most of our personnel are focused on assisting the uh, market administrator in implementing those clearing operations. So, and we have other activities, just like we have also this uh, evening, we have our Greyhound, that we have also committed a lot of personnel. So, sometimes, madiflit ang ato ang personnel, makuhaan ang atong anti-criminality ng mga personnel. So, that's the time sad nga mo, mo kuan sad sila, mo commit. And especially during, karon nga himbalik na ang ato ang mga nightlife, considering na na-open ang ato ang bars, they don't have limit anymore. So, naasadaya na tabu ang ato ang Ubang krimen, you know? especially during Friday, Saturday, nga naanatay mga kalingawan. Sir, one more question. In relation to the appointment of ex-PNP Chief Sir Sina sa Atuang City Advisory Board, uh, Mayor Michael Rama announced that he wants the Cebu City Police to be Cebu's finest. Do na nababoy coordination ni Sir Sinas in terms of security measures for Cebu City in particular? So far, wala pa tayo formal gin nga meeting with General Sinas, but the last time that we have met during sa flag racing sa uh, City Hall, he gave already some advices for us. But it's not only the police ang iyahang focus, but these three uh, bureaus, to include the Bureau uh, BGMP and the Bureau of Fire. No, so and BNP. So that is his focus. But for us, he he gave already some uh, insights. On unsay atong i focus, unsay yahang focus in giving us instructions with regards to public safety. Let's turn to Kwan, Mr. Lee. Kwan, kaning siguro ato ning Kwan siguro. No, this is our pride and joy. Ah, uh, Kwan, you are the chair of the business summit for the kanibang. Uh, you have uh, invited VIP guests no, to be your speakers. Please tell uh, our public what will this be about and what will this entail and who are the prospective and confirmed individuals from Manila who will be coming. Uh, good morning, Sir Eric. Good morning to all the viewers uh, online, uh, also to the media here. Um, I'm actually wearing two hats right now. Um, I'm actually here for uh, Cebu Centennial Lions Club project and all at the same time uh, Mandawe Business Summit. But uh, I will, I think we will have another press con uh, after that. afternoon. Uh, I think the same people will be there. But I, I, I can answer that question very quickly. Yeah, so that we will already have the scoop and yes, they'll be writing about it scoop. right now. <laughs> so uh, it's a very exciting uh, lineup of speakers, uh, Sir Eric. Uh, we have uh, confirmed speakers like uh, Fernando Zubel de Ayala, uh, who's the president and sh chief executive officer of the Ayala Corporation. Uh, and then we have uh, Miss Anna Aboitis, uh, 
uh, was the Chief Customer Experience Officer uh, VP no? of Union Bank. We have a very sensational and uh, popular transformation coach, master speaker, Cherry Pua Africa. Uh, and then uh, we have also Mario Domingo who just actually confirmed. He's the director of the Ateneo Institute of Digital Enterprise who would be discussing about AI and you know the effects of this, especially us in Cebu would be very affected because uh, BPO industry. Uh, and then, um, then we have the Senior Economic Officer of ADB, Asian Development Bank, Mr. Lanza Fame. Uh, so this is going to be a very exciting uh, event. Uh, of course, exciting is always the Business Summit of Mandawe Business Chamber. And I wish uh, to invite everybody uh, to be there. Uh, we will be sending the invites and uh, how much the tickets are uh, in a few days after after today. You'd also like to tell us, sir, about your upcoming Art for Cure exhibit. So this time, this is a project by Cebu Centennial Lions Club. Yes. Uh, I just want to tell everybody uh, that actually Lions Club International has five global causes or focuses. No? So these are uh, vision no? about blind prevention of the blindness no tabi na sige na ta og tan aw sa atong mga cellphone atong mga mata mga daot no so then we have the environment we have diabetes uh, prevention uh, hunger addressing hunger and children with cancer so this this art for cure is actually a under that project focus which is children uh, with cancer so uh, the art for cure is together with the Cebuano Arts group uh, and then uh, with their paintings whatever proceeds 30% basically uh, goes to projects related to children with cancer so we are tying up with different organizations and hospitals to give uh, support to pediatric uh, patients with cancer yeah so how can the public help in, in yes. case they are interested uh, we would like to invite uh, people who are into collection of arts. No? Uh, the exhibit will be it at City Sports Club. Uh, July 23, uh, 3 p.m. is the opening. And I, I believe we invited some of the media to be there. And then the exhibit will be uh, on display for a week. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have a week to grab your uh, art pieces. Uh, of course, City Sports Club is a sponsor of this uh, event also. And together with uh, other corporate sponsors, uh, with with us. Who are my featured artists, Sunny Sir? Uh, some of them might get angry because they are all <laughs> popular. <laughs> ah, really? <laughs> so, but can you give us examples? Uh, Alan de Mayakyak is there. Uh, we have Raul. We have Jojo Gulbane, and actually, they are all my favorites. Mm. Uh, so, uh, if, if you look at the so, like uh, some of the exhibits. Uh, in the galleries, th their names are quite popular. So I hope that uh, we will support uh, this exhibit, which, is, which helps children with cancer. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Who will be your guest of honor? Who will do the ribbon cutting for uh, uh, it, it would be the governor of uh, Lions District uh, Club. And then, uh, of course, uh, we have the artists themselves also. Uh, no yeah. politician involved? No, sir. No, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> will there be other artists, let's say, from coming from Negros, Oriental, or Bohol, or this will just be purely Cebu artists? Uh, sir Eric, this is with Cebu artists lang because of the Cebuano Art Society collaboration. Yes. Okay, that's yeah. very good. Sir, I'd like to move forward to another project of yours. Yes. I'm very interested to learn more about it. I actually researched about it, but it's not the first store that's opened here in Cebu. Let's talk about your plastic barter store. And I think it's very timely, especially considering the recent flooding. Gahapun sa San Fernando, grabe ang pagbaha. Nag-viral sa ang mga pictures and videos. The other week sa Cebu City, Barangay Tisa. And I think it's also hitting two birds with one stone. Okay, it also addresses the problem of inflation. No, kay pwede na makakuha og mga basic commodities through our plastic waste. Could you tell us more about that, please? Uh, Andrea, actually, this, this project was started uh, with the Rotary Club of Metro Cebu, which I was also a member. We opened the plastic barter store in Balay Samaritano, which is near Cathedral, no? near, near Shamrock, the Polytechnic. There's like a place there called Balay Samaritano. Unfortunately, the pandemic hit and uh, 
Odette destroyed totally the barter store. Uh, but uh, with the collaboration and funding of uh, Cebu Centennial Lions Club, we op reopened, we reconstructed the uh, plastic barter store, but now in a very exciting collaboration with Bottle of Hope and Plastic Exchange, which is, uh, I don't know if you, you've learned about Nanette Medved Post Project, that she builds classroom using bottles, a uh, collection of plastic bottles. So, karun mo dili na butang ang atong iswap. Actually, we are asking everybody's help uh, to please tell people about this project. No, uh, all kinds of plastic, even styrofoams, kanang milk tea cups, tarpaulins, kanang mga tarpaulins nga na adias dalan. This will become waste that will clog the drainage. No, so kaning tanang plastic, basta except lang plastic nga tao, <laughs> dawa to na karun sa barter store. No? Uh, we are open every Wednesday and Saturday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. to accept plastics. Uh, these plastics are bought at 2 pesos per kilo. Sachets, styrofoams, walay timbangan nga mudawat ana, except the plastic barter store. No? So, uh, there is also another one in Hakosalem, the Sacred Heart Parish. Yeah, uh, this project is now called Aling Tindera Plastic Barter Store. So what happens is that uh, we only accept basta limpio, basta uga. No? So what I do in my household, I hope you can replicate it, mga laba, magid atong mga labandera sa balay, ang mga plastic nga yung i-collect sa ang basura, among gi uh, humulan, then gi pa uga. Then pag maabot na na certain uh, quantity, you can then sell it there in the barter store. I'm just very excited because a lot of people are actually just donating their plastics. Mm. Para dili makuha ng puhunan sa livelihood man ni siya para sa ato ang mga gi-identify nga aling tindera. So, I was even very touched. Uh, somebody just gipalalamove pa ang iyang plastic. And then, mas dako pa siya gasto actually. Siya, I, I don't care. I'm not for it for the money. I'm there for helping recycle. No? So, hopefully, we would like to encourage everybody no, kanang mga plastic Anato, ato na nang ibaligya sa barter store or i-donate sa plastic barter store. Unsay buhaton ninyo sa plastic, sir? Okay. So, uh, by the way, uh, 2 pesos ang per kilo sa plastic. The plastic bottles, the pet bottles, is bought at 8 pesos per kilo. No, basta limpio, basta uga. So, uh, with the help of plastic exchange and with the help of uh, Bottle of Hope, we have a collaboration with them na ilaning ipanghando sa mga katong recyclers. No? So, they have the resources, Mangod, to connect with these uh, recyclers. As actually, kami na libog unsa on yung styro, unsa on nila ang kanang milk pickups, no? But they are, uh, I think, they have a very good collaboration. They actually uh, pack it, put it in container van, then ship it to Manila for recycling. No? So they have corporate sponsors helping them with this uh, uh, project. We'll go back to uh, uh, Police uh, Lieutenant Colonel Lacoan, Kaning Parilla. Uh, you'll be probably having a meeting with uh, Councillor Philip Sapra uh, of Peace and Order. Is there any city hall mandate uh, that they are expecting from the police? Are they launching a new program that uh, you are, they're asking for your support? Na basili bag kung kalihukang gihangyo sa mga police? So far, wala may laing gihangyo ang ato ang uh, city government as of now, no? But to keep Cebu City safe. That is the only thing that they ask for, uh, from us. And with the help of the city mayor, he already directed uh, Councillor Safra to help Cebu City Police, whatever they can help to us to improve uh, our services to the Cebu City people. Liban atong mga motorsiklo nga gihangyo sa pulis, may nang madungog sa atong mga kauban sa media. Unsa pa yung mga angay nga mga itabang sa Cebu City para sa atong kapulisan? So aside from the motorcycle, uh, the city government also already approved the 50 million project for the construction of the Cebu City Police Office building. So expected that first week of August, there will be already a groundbreaking and hopefully it will be the SILZ will be present during that uh, event. 
So those are the things that the Cebu City Hall has already given to us and already approved. And but this afternoon we are meeting with Councillor Sapra. Uh, that includes the uh, 50, mil uh, 50 million budget for the construction of the CCPO building and our uh, the proposed ordinance for the uh, mandatory putting of security guards and CCTV cameras, especially to financial establishments and gasoline stations. Sir, kagahapon grabe ang kagubot sa demolition sa carbon. Kamusta ang incidents dito? Wala ba mga incidents nga dunay mga nangaangol at all sa gipahigayin nga demolition alang sa redevelopment of the market? So far, no, dili man gid siya yung anak kagubot. No? Actually, I was there. I was the one uh, supervising with the chief of police of Session 5. Uh, dunay mga commotion, but it is not what we call grabe, no? Uh, doon, ay, doon ay gamay resistance but later on, nakasabot sa sila. Nakasabot ra sila and they agreed to transfer with the new uh, interim. interim. Uh, not the, actually the interim first market. Kay lahi-lahi man na sila. Mm. Lahi-lahi na sila. Na sila lahang uh, gi-provide na sila og place nga makatemporary sila og baligya uh, while the construction of the carbon market. I'd like to ask a question to Sir Adrian. Uh, sir, you are a businessman yourself. I know nga um, for the Mandawi Business Summit, doon na tayo daghang mga exciting activities nga gipaabot and um, the business sector in Cebu in particular is starting to boom once again after the pandemic. But then again, a, a, lot, a lot of us are suffering from inflation. Um, how is the business sector, especially sa Mandawi Chamber of Commerce and Industry, affected by this? Do na ba yung mga businessmen nga ni Saka nagyud sa presyo sa ilahang mga produkto? Ay muha, sir, sa imong negosyo ni Saka ba ang presyo sa inyuhang mga um, products because of this ongoing crisis? Uh, yes, Andrea. Actually, that's really the reality of all businesses, I think, all over the world right now. Um, particularly there is a Cebu Mandawe, a lot of us have no choice but to increase also our prices. Uh, that, and that's probably why the government also increased the minimum wage. But uh, it, it, this is a problem that is quite difficult no? because it has global external forces at play. So it's not really just the issue caused by local forces. So we all need to have uh, to brace ourselves in other words no so uh, you were asking about our personal uh, <laughs> business my personal business yeah for instance ang oyong karon marag misaka dang presyo no ang harina sir musaka ko no yes <laughs> ang harina is very very expensive the cooking oil is already very high um, and we all know everything is quite dependent on fuel also, diba? Due to deliveries and all these things, no? So, igo kayo, kay ang diesel ni mahal. As in, mas mahal pas gasolina. Yeah, most of the businesses, uh, ilang delivery trucks are diesel, no? So, this actually has a very big impact on business. So, yeah, we have no choice, but we have to increase our prices. We have to also, uh, we have to brace ourselves and see where we can uh, cut our cost to be able to still have the margin no? because business is for profit. No? We cannot give what we do not have. Yeah, Thank you. All right. So I think that we are now ready to open the floor for questions from our friends from the media. Anybody who'd like to start, please approach the mic stand in front. Ipailailain yung kaugalingan, the organization that you represent, and then shoot your question. Arnold Bustamante sa UHP, niya, President of Defense, PNP Press Corps. Akong i-shoot, akong pangkota na kang Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Parilla. Sir, ganina na nag uh, Greyhound operation ang PDEA, BGM, PNP, PNP. O sa silang giingon ka ganina, although dili kaidaghan ang nakuha nga drugs o mga contraband, pero o sa mga ni-trend ko na dito, kanang kuan, drone, i-bumbal -bumba, i lang ang kuan ba, drugs. Tabang bata sa pag... Although doon na sila gingon nga no-fly zone kuno ang CPDRC o ang city jail. Pero saan na ito pagtabang ang BGMP nga walay mahitabo nga uh, pagpalupad o drone diha? So we have 
our quarterly meeting now with the DILG to include all uh, under the DILG, the BGMP and the Bureau of Fire and other law enforcement agency. So during that conference, doon natin mga collaboration and we have already arranged with that. Naka-receive na taan ang uh, information from the warden of the BGMP, specifically the Cebu City Jail, na doon ay magpalupad o drone. Before, uh, dili na siya drone, I ilabay lang, itirador, then muna nga, gipatasan nila ang ilahang padert o gigibutangan o net para dili na maabot o labay. But as of now, hing, hing improved na sila. So, nagamit na yun sila o drone. Not only in Cebu City, but even in, I was in Mandawi because that is under my jurisdiction sa Station 5, ang Mandawi City Jail. We receive also the same report. So, yung na nagyapon, magpalupad o drone, unya mo tagak no, o mga contrabands. So, every time doon na, doon na sa sila ma, matikdan na ang taga BGMP, they will always coordinate with the uh, station concern kung asa na belong ang ilahang BGMP. So, they will always ask for assistance from the PNP to clear the sides kung asa na pita posible. Pero magparoving ta, sir, uh, diha sa vicinity sa city jail o yes, sa city residence. Yes, we have always... Uh, mobile patrol nga mag roving diha sa ilahang area because that is also ang ilahang request sa, sa BGMP. Kung mm -hmm. naay madak panato sir magpalupad bisag wala ikuan usa man confiscate. We will lang. always we will always check no so kung atong ma matud-an nga siya mo ay nagpalupad with that drone so it will be the BGMP who will file a case whatever case nga ma-apply mm -hmm. siya. Okay. Another question sir sa sa carbon ganina nag nag Kuan na po, nag ang mga kuan. Uh, Burag Carbon Hanon uh, Group uh, dito sa may Freedom Park. So, nag na po, kung saan mong mando sa mga CDM nga ito aron dito? Uh, maximum tolerance pag hapon ta or ato sila i-push pagawas? So, as usual, no, uh, the purpose of our PNP there is for security, not only for the uh, implementing unit with the uh, clearing operations, but also to the people nga uh, affected. No, we have to make it sure nga walay masakitan, walay uh, madapatan or anything that will happen sa mga both sides sa nag-implement sa clearing operations and the people affected. So again, ang rule sa PNP there, for security, maximum tolerance, so whatever, uh, pwede na itong mabuhat nga ma-implement na to nga walay ma masakitan. Uh, doon ay, na, doon ay, means, doon ay ipagawas ng statement ang, 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 ang San Carlos, katapitong sa mga pare, na uh, gidisrupt ko no ang ilahang misa kagahapong at lawa. Niya, although ako'y nakita na ito nga pulis nga ni, ni, ni Pugong silahang misa, eh, pero ilang i-blame ang, ang mga city hall employee. Uh, pero naamo rin ito, sir. Uh, unsa inyong ang reaksyon sa ilahang statement? At first, no, before pa sila naabot, ang katong nakamonitor, because at first, nanguta naman tong uh, one of their staff nga pwede ba kong ma-interview with the priest. No? So, wala mag kumo agree because we are still busy on that time. But before pa naabot ang katong mga pari, atong uh, pari, not mga pari, it's only one. And there, there is also uh, madre. No? Before pa sila naabot, na na itong tukar daan. So, nagsugo, nagsigi na itong tukar before pa sila naabot. So, there was no really intention nga to you on nga nag, while nagmisa sila patukaran sa sila because before sila nagtuka, nag, nagmisa, na natoy siya, nagpat, na natoy tukar daan. No, that was not intentionally because we did not also expect nga doon ay pari umabot dito that, uh, during that day. Good morning, everybody. Choi Toralba from DYRF. Kining, uh, I will address this question to Colonel Parilla. Kining, uh, I think this is the first time nga doon ay pare nga mo apil-apil anang mga goan. Kining, uh, kining mga, ingon na ning mga activities ba? And I am surprised. Basing, di ba na ma-check ninyo, uh, Colonel, basing, Nagsinina lang nagpare, o niya dili ginapare. Kaya mura ba na yung modus operandi niya itong aid sa revolusyon? So the City Hall, no, uh, as I have heard, they will raise that issue sa Archdiocese. 
So to check whether as uh, if it is really a priest or is it uh, right or pwede ba na siya nga buhaton nga mo misa ka while na ay na ay regulations yes. Mm. Uh, yes, uh, I heard nga dunay mo mo lobby that question to with the archdiocese. I see. Now, uh, one more follow-up question, Colonel Kening. Uh, well, you made mention nga doon ay increase of kwan, no? criminality in this part of the kwan, province. Kining, unsa may mga latest update ninyo, kining, especially the drug problem, kay I was informed nga ni Saka na sad ang, ang, ang drug problem, especially Mugawas na kuno ng mga drug pusher o pamaligya. Dili pa rin ito nga di gini mo ikita, no? Kung sa may mga countermeasure ninyo, Ana, Colonel, to uh, ipabalik sa naandan ba? Nga wa na yung magsuri-suri yung pamaligya. Uh, yes, sir. No? Uh, I will answer first with the criminality. So, actually, there was not, uh, there is no really increase in the total crime volume one specific crime lang, which is the theft. So in my record here, uh, in a three months period from May 1 to July 18, 2021, compared to the same period, May 1 to July 18, 2022, uh, it's only theft. The total uh, recorded theft incidents in that period, July 2021, uh, May to July 2021 is 109 incidents. In the same period, May 1 to July 18, there was 118 incidents. So there was an increase of nine incidents. Mm -hmm. So it is really uh, minimal. No? Uh, minimal minimal. Na siya, mm -hmm. considering uh, full-blown na ang ato ang community. Balik wala na, na siya. curfew. Na wala na curfew, everything is uh, normal. So there, wa there is an increase of 8.3%. But imuhang i total ang kanang crime volume, those eight focus crime, there is a downtrend. No? So Ubus gihapon siya. Then, I will make it clear, ha, nga, basin ang mga tao maingon nga, ah, polis rin nagbuhat-buhat anang figure. No. Uh, as of now, we have already a database, which is, once ma-record na, na siya sa blotter, diya sa police station, within 24 hours, that investigator should Report. enter it. No. They have to uh, enter it into the Data. system. Mm -hmm. We have the CERAS, what we call CERAS the crime incident, uh, recording uh, incident system. Then, it cannot be edited by the station and even as the ha sa CCPO. So, dili na siya pwedeng ma-edit once it is already entered to the system. Then, basig mo yung nga, awa, ah, gi-record ang tanang incident sa blatter. Ang tanang na-record sa blatter, wala sa gi-entry sa system. Every year, ang camp crummy, will go down to the station and check individually or sa tanang mga uh, police blotter nga naa sa station sa station tagsa tagsa on ginala manually pag mm. ihap then it will be compared to the generated database. figure sa database the only allowed discrepancy is only 5% so once there is a discrepancy more than mm. 5% the chief of police and the investigator will be charged administratively so that is why we can say that our record now is really uh, true. true. No? So dili na gina sa pareha sa una nga ang hipi pwede niyang i-edit, pwede niyang ako pagam yun ni para din dot guwapo ko sa city director. Uh -huh. So as of now, dili. Because it can be generated, like for example, during our conference, the chief of police will report, we have only 200 incidents. But if we generate, because we can generate, but we cannot edit. So, if we generate nga ang iha na crime incidents is 250, so si, he is lying. He can be charged of that. Laktod pagkasulti, Colonel, wa na'y doktor. Police Wala na lang siya. No. Police na ginasa, dili okay. na doktor. No? So, kwa na ginasa. Uh, that's the true Real. picture. That's the true picture of the crime incidents uh. in our area. Real Then, time. Yes. Okay. So, within 24 hours because once doon ay late, nga, uh, doon ay late recording sila, the in charge also will be charged administratively. Okay. Kang uh, Mr. Adrian Lee, kining ako laning uh, observation kay ang imo dihang kanang propaganda o kana ba ang imong advertisement do na may yellow ribbon dili ka ang mga
Pua ana dili mo amot og mo nang kalakiha kay I, I think I will suggest nga i usab na nimo para <laughs> o dili na man dili na man kuan de marag na partisan ba na politika uh, ah na politika Sir Choi uh, I wish I could do that but the, uh, the yellow ribbon logo is a Lions Club International logo Oh, dili na siya nga. Actually, the artist said, sir, di ba, pink ribbon man ta na dapat ba sa cancer? So, samot na siguro kung pink. <laughs> but uh, actually, the the logo for children with cancer is yellow, sir. Uh, it's a Lions Club International logo. Yeah, and I think it connect, in connection to prevention of crime, okay, I think a lot of criminals do crime because they are desperate. Especially kung sample na masakit nga pamilya, labi na mong anak, mapugos yun siguro kag do criminal things. I hope that others will support this uh, project so that we can also lessen criminality para sa mga desperate parents who are uh, financially uh, challenged. Uh, Kwan, mangutan na lang kung kang Kwan, uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Parilla, no? what areas uh, sa imong data kung asa may tabo ning theft usually so that the public might be aware uh, is it a uh, highly populated areas or nadapita din as kulon para magmatngo ng mga tao ug magbantay una na ikaduha follow up lang sa kawan katong gi sulti ni kawan ni Sir Choi uh unsa may status sa atong kawan gyud pun tuktok hangyo so ang pinakadaghan nato no nga recorded incidents is at station 4 Mabulo no so mo siya, even before, uh, ang ato ganing problema is ang station 4 considering sa iyahang gidakon sa iyahang area. Uh, no? Niya, uh, naadaya ang tanan na to nga sintro sa business. We have the IT park, we have the Ayala. So everything na na. So usually na na gida ang ato ang mga incidents. No? Uh, just like sa katong mga pick packets, uh, salisi. So that will include with the theft. No? Kaya mga salisi, uh, pick packeting. So muna nagi din ang ato ang problema. That is why as of now, do na natay plano uh, we have already kanang two substations nga intended for mountain barangays. Para ang kaning ato ang station for will focus mainly din higid sa ato ang uh, urban area. Dire sa ato ang business area. Considering nga ang station 4 na diha na sa iha ang SM na siyang Ayala na ang IT. So mostly sa uh, volume sa tao na agi din sa station 4. So once there is volume sa tao, naasad gid ang possibility nga na agi mabiktima sa krimen. Pero mga local boys ra ni. Yes, uh, that is all local. No, so far wala man tay ma-monitor nga mga uh, gikan sa mga laing lugar. Uh, only kung do natay mga big events just like sinulog, no, kanang Pasko. So do natay mga ma-monitor nga coming from other uh, places like Gikan sa Manila, mga grupo, muari diri intended for theft gina sila. Ilad. So, sa Tukhang, we don't have any, uh, we, we still have, no? But the, we are more on the uh, barangay based rehabilitation nata. Sa tanang mga uh, identified nga mga drug personalities and those who surrendered. So, that is one of our bases in clearing sa to ang mga barangay. So, once we ingon tanga drug cleared, wala na ingon nga, wala na wala na i drugas din na naagi hapon no but it is already all drug personalities to include sa mga mag uh, mugamit we have already the record and we have already done unsa on na to nga marehabilitate ang katong mga nag surrender so those are one of uh, those only uh, usas ato ang mga gikinahanglan para ma declare na to nga drug free ang usa ka barangay but uh, i would like to answer again sa kang sir no ganiha nga question wala man to ma question katong Ay uh, hang ingon nga kumusta na to mong gawas na ang katong mga namaligya og drugas. So far, no wala man tay na monitor, no. Nga ingon ana ang ilaw. Uh, do na lay mga sulti-sulti, but in reality, they cannot do that. Nga mugawas na sila. So very very bragid kayo sila kung ilahan ang buhaton. So until now, ang atong anti-drug operations is the same. Ingon ana gyapon aggressive and makita ninyo nga volume ang ato ang makuha ng mga drogas. Nga naman, may nga nga, daghan na siguro ang drogas ron kay ganong didag ko na, kinilo na ang makuha. But it's not the reason. The real reason is that ang ato arong 
uh, drug campaign, street ba, dito dito siya, walay, wala si blockage. Unlike before, makadakup kag usa, maputol na because daghan na kayo mo feed og information sa mga source. So as of now, makadakup kag usa, magkanit-kanit siya, so makunik. So that's why makuha ni mo ang ilahang taas and then you can get volume of uh, drugs during the operations. May butag sir, Benjo Talisik sa Superbalita sa Sar Cebu. Ako ay pao talaga sir Parilla, sir may butag. Um, gagahapon, doon ay nasakpit ang atong PDA 7 Joint Operations sa BOC, Bureau of Customs, ng mga ecstasy, kani mga tam, uh, tablitas, uh, maubot sa 2,000 kapin ka mga ecstasy, nga gibadabada sa 6.7 million ang iyang uh, uh, street value. Now, ang Cebu City Police Office, would be, uh, would be possible ba nga muhimot tayo ng pagigalayon sa mga kaning mga bar owners there is a dog dog bed ug pag at the same time usa to pag monitor sir sa kaning uh, gikan nga mga kontrabando nga mga ecstasy sa gawas sa nasod nga niabot sa Pilipinas usa to possible nga buhaton ani uh, sa to ano uh, do na man tay regular nga meeting sa tanang mga resto bars and uh, restaurants so that's the time also nga makikommunicate nila but we have a problem ang good aning ato ang uh, ecstasy kay dili ni siya parehas sa Shabu nga ang mga namaligya og Shabu bisa kinsa pwede nilang tagaan no so ang kaning ecstasy sa higher level ra po ni siya nga mga addicts no so ang ato uh, sila sa usually ang kaning mga namaligya ani they will not sell it unless kaila gyud sila so muna that makes it difficult for us the uh, PNP to arrest this and it's good nga ang PDA because they have contacts sa source palang daan na dakpa na siya, wala na siya ma-distribute because once it will be distributed so we really find it difficult considering nga uh, ang kaning mamaligyaan ni nila dili na sila mo hatag bisan pa gani o kaila sila as long as they didn't know nga kana siya mo gamit no? so yung anak kalisod ang pag-operate sa ecstasy but we would like to thanks the PDA nga ilahang nakuha diha pa lang daan sa source wala na siya ma-distribute ngadto sa ilahang supposed supposedly market nila and we have also a good coordination with the PDA here in Central Visayas we had uh, we have a good relationship with the PDA no so every time do na sila mga information uh, PDA will coordinate with us for a joint operation para mas dako og impact then dako og uh, result ang ato ang operation Hello, sir. Pijin sa CDN. So, follow-up question lang sa question sa Sir Bench earlier. So, as your observation or monitoring, sir, on sa ang distribution status when it comes to ecstasy there is sa Cebu City? Usually, ari na siya, na siya sa mga high-end bars. No? So, wala gina siya sa kanang bisan asa lang ni mapalit. Usually, ana na siya sa mga drug party. Ah, uh, uh, mga parties, not drug parties, ah. I'm sorry. Uh, mga parties, no? Usually, naagin na siya diha. So, we really find it difficult. Libi na sa mga high-end ng mga, mga bars, which is limited rasad ang ila. Sila mismo ang, ang, ang bars is limited ang ilahang makasod. Uh, sometimes, doon mga bars nga only those ilaharang kaila nga makasod din ha sa ilahang exclusive ng mga, mga parties. So, usually, muna ay ato ang monitored nga possible market sa drugs. Sir, you mentioned earlier nga nightlife in Cebu City is back. So, does it mean na uh, gina-anticipate sa ninyo uh, before or when uh, the restrictions here in Cebu City kay giis na? Expected nga unsa? Gi-anticipate ninyo po nga daghan sa ang gawas nga mga ecstasy distributions or pagpamaligya? With a uh, Ecstasy no din sa tuas sa Cebu, dili ginsad siya yung anak karampant. Although it is present, no, pero dili pa na siya yung anak karampant. Considering nga ang market limited rasad, dili man na siya pareha sa Shabu nga ang mugamit daghan. Ang ecstasy, limited raman sad ang mugamit. Kanto ramang maka-afford. Considering nga ang usaka, ang usaka tablet, tag 2,500 ang usa, na itag 3,000. So dipindi sa ihang klase. So ang makapalit, kanto rasad yung doon ay ika-afford. So, ang iyang market is limited. So, dili sa siya yung nakadaghan ang volume. 
last lang sir for kaning public lang to know so unsa impact di ay ani aning ecstasy sa mga mugamit and unsa siya ka um, harmful para nila sir so uh, more, ano, uh, based on our information based on our information depende sa klase sa ecstasy na daghan nga klase sa ecstasy naa siya para sa pang disco pang party naa siya pang uh, pahang gamit o for sexual uh, what, what is the term nga nga mura og mo maka arouse ka no? so daghan siya klase so actually uh, but usually ang gigamit nila kanag yung pang party nga bisan pag tagurha tagutlo ka adlaw dili ka maluya and we have also experience na nga muna nay doon na nay mga ma-overdose no so makadungog ka nga doon na that's like ato mga sikat nga mga personality nga nag-overdose because of party drugs what's the usual profile sa mga user sir there is a Cebu City mga young young professionals actually na na siya sa mga 20 to early 30s no ang iyahang mga edad sa usual nga mugamit uh, ako lang ning ilakbit sa isa no um colonel unsay atong kuan karon kumusta ang atong status sa nubain kay dinhi sa sibog grabe pud kuno ang paggamit sa nubain ning, ning kunhod na ba ni siya actually ang nubain karon dili na gid siya nga nakakusog but do na pagid gihapoy mo gamit og nubain according to sa mga addict nga to sang madakpan ang ang ihasang effect sa nubain is different from shabu but ilahan na sa nang gigamit ron kana ilang gitawag og milkshake nga gisagol ang shabu og nubain which is grabe na gid kayo og igo no and then we have already a lot of also of records based on our records at DOH nga mosa ni ato ang gipangusgan nga og kampanya nga most of the its iv nga mga diseases no usa uh, sa rason nga nung dunay ta its iv is because of kanang needle nga gagamit no so muna siya usa sa mga source of transmission so muna nga ato sa na siya gipahingusgan with the help, with the aid pod sa DOH Sir, mo ko sa issue on cybercrime now nga digital nagit kasagaran sa tumang mga transactions. Sir, kamusta ang mga cybercriminal statistics sa Cebu City? Unsa kasagarang mga reports nga inyuhang madawat? So far no na agid gyapon. Actually last last week lang do natay na rescue nga mga minors, no? Sa ato ang area sa Cebu City. And then uh, it's good to note gan do na man lain unit gyud na nga nagmonitor nga makamonitor sila hang transactions. So kay ato ma ang usas atong ebidensya mangud ana ang katong ilang gigamit ng mga gadgets then uh, we have the cyber crime unit who can uh, restore or pwede nilang ma-extract ang katong ilahang uh, transactions and ang katong mga videos nga ilang gigamit during sa ilahang pagkandak sa cyber crime. Uh, last week I think like last week we have an operation uh, rescue operation sa mga minors. Foreign national uh, sir in no, uh, local lang. Iyahang per abab uh, inahan, no? And then ang iyahang ang iyahang giapil, iyahang anak, and then anak sa siyang silingan. So we have seven, I think that was seven ang atong na rescue. So babay ni siya ang ato ang naarrested. Do we have any other questions from our friends from the media? Nestle. <laughs> atong mga kauban sa my TV. <laughs> By the way, to our live audiences, you are free to also ask your questions. Just type them in the comment section sa tong live stream so that we can also read them and atong mapanghutana sa mga guest speakers. Any other questions? Wala na. Sige, so we will sir. give... Yes. Uh, yes, sir. I would like to... Yeah, kang sir. Uh, katong iyahabit ang katong imuhang uh, plastics nga lab uh, limpyuhan lang so mangayo lang ko ato sa uh, unsay mga kinahanglan don because uh, i think the PNP should do that first ng amuning amuning yes. buhaton and to encourage also sa ilahang pamilya or uh, the family of the PNP nga ato ning buhaton because it's really good no ato instead nga atong ilabay so ato na lang ning limpyuhan then we have to give it Ngadto diha sa imuhang area. I think that is in Cebu City area. Uh, yes, Colonel. Actually, basi makapalit og motor. <laughs> uh, there will be three 
uh, plastic barter stores or aling tindera, no? Uh, duha ang abrina katong sa Balay Samaritano duol sa katedral. Ang sa Hakosalem, diri sa may Sacred Heart Parish. And the third one will open this August sa San Pio Dumlog Talisay, no? San Pio Village. Uh, this is housing ni siya sa mga former scavengers no nga gitabangan sa mga pari sa SVD, mga San Carlos Fathers, no? So uh, there will be three, no? But yes, very good because we have a collaboration our Lions Club and PNP we just signed AMOA uh, last week no that we will be doing uh, projects together and i think this can be a good project together colonel uh, to help the environment which is a crime against the environment yes, uh, yes. we will work to, yes i will we will give you the details colonel uh -oh. hi uh, hello, I am Jason Almagro from DYRF, and I'd like to address my question to Colonel Parilia. So, in relation to the increase of uh, theft-related incidents in Station 4 or Mabolo, um, should people in that area be alarmed, and what is your message so that um, you can ensure safety to them? Uh, there's nothing to alarm, no? Uh, that is really very minimal. Uh, there is an increase of only... That nine incidents is the whole Cebu City. I think if there is an increase in, in Mabolo, I think two or three incidents lang. No? So that is very minimal considering that we are Cebu City, the volume of people, nga mo ari diri sa Atua, especially karon nga open na ang Atuang market, open na ang Atuang business. So dili lang kay ang Cebu City residents ang Atuang gi, risk, uh, gi, gi secure. But also the people working, coming from other places, uh, we have also now the local tourists coming in, so everything. So there will be an increase of volume of people. So there's nothing to worry about because that is, as I have said, that is really very minimal. Uh, if you look at it, if you compare it to other places with the same volume of people, Cebu City is really minimal ang ato ang crime incidents here. All right, thank you, Colonel. Sagi ko sa nabiktima na sa Mabolo, Sir Eric. Nakaambak jud kog jeep a hat. <laughs> Nag-inilugay mi sa kong cellphone sa Snatcher. Anyway, um, Sir, duna na tayo mga live questions from our online viewers. This is from Beatrice. Hi, Beatrice, if you're still watching this. Her question is, what other measures for the upcoming face-to-face -face classes other than the proactive proposal of additional motorcycles for immediate response? So in terms of security, no, uh, wala naman taka yu changes nga buhaton. Uh, only lang good ang, ang challenge man lang sa face to face is on the COVID side. But in terms of the security sa ato ang mga bata, sa ato ang mga estudyante, that is uh, normal naman na nato nga gibuhat. So again, uh, police presence good ang ato ang pinaka, pinaka focus nato nga ato ang personnel. As of now, we have already directed sa ito ang mga police stations na ang mahabilin regid sa stations, that is only three. No? The chief of police, the desk officer, and the investigator. All other personnel should go out unless doon na sila uh, needed nga buhaton sa opisina. To include kanang mga administrative na ito nga mga personnel. So they will be deployed especially on sa mga oras nga daghan jud kayo ang tao uh, especially from 6 to 8 in the morning and 6 to 8 in the afternoon so muna siya focus ato ang deployment and usually mosa na ang oras nga naatay mga krimen nga nahitabo not only on eight focus crime but also on the public safety sa kanang uh, mga sakyanan so that is why presence sa ato ang police traffic can help also nga walay mga aksidente mahitabo sa dalan what, what would be the ideal number um, of policemen for Cebu City? Uh, the ideal get you know, a number that is required from the PNP that is that should be one is to five hundred. So in every five hundred population, there should be one PNP. But as of now, ang ato ang ratio sa Cebu City is one is to seven hundred. So we really need at least uh, our person, our current strength is we have 1,100. So, uh, ang ideal good supposed to be is we don't, we have at least 3,000. No? 3,000 personnel. But 
considering uh, we have we don't have that kind of number so ato na nang adjust ang ato ang duty sa ang personnel so ang ato ang personnel no for the information of everybody ang ato ang personnel mo duty na siya og 12 hours in a day uh, so from 12 in the morning and 12 uh, going back mo um, end sa 12 sa hapon so the same said sa paggabi and then ang iyahang only off is only one day sa usa ka semana but sometimes dili na sad ganin makatog ang ato ang personnel like for example panggabi ka uh, mobile patroller ka duna kay madakpan so kinahanglan pa nang file ni mo og kaso ini kabuntag so unsan man kang rasa mauli sa si inyo ha alas 12 ala una alas 3 sa hapon that's the time of sleep pagka pila ka oras then ini ka alas 8 sa gabi balik na sad ka or panggabi ka in the morning duna kay court hearing because once you arrest that is your duty also to attend court hearings. So, dili na ka kapahuway. So, muna usahay nga dili gina to malikayan na asan tayong mga pulis nga makatug yun during sa ilahang uh, tour of duty. No? But naapod na ito yung mga kapulisan nga medyo badlongon sa gamay nga matug yun bisag dili ipakatulgon. No? So, muna say ato ang gibantayan. That is part also of our internal cleansing, uh, the discipline of our personnel. Segwaysa na kung usa ka panghutana ning Sigrid Espina. Igunsa ka nini mo Sir Eric. <laughs> Ngano wala man joy ka undangan og kahurutan ang shabu, please kog tubag. <laughs> Ngano kunong naagid gihapoy supply despite your efforts, sir. As long as there is a demand, dili gina siya mawa. And drugs involves millions of money, easy money. So those people who are already uh, with drugs, they don't like to work sa mga legal nga pamaagi because it's really hard to work to find a legal money. Kinahang lang juga og trabaho, kinahang ka effort niya ang imuhang kita gamay ra. So kung ari ka sa illegal, gamay nga trabaho, dako nga kwarta. So they prefer that. Nahilaham ng gusto. So as long as there is a demand, di gina siya mawa. Sir, doon ako question. Sa Manila, sir, headlines ka ron ang pag-regulate sa aning mga wang-wang blinkers sa kadalanan. Cebu City in particular, nagsugod na sa batog apprehend aning mga illegal nga mga wang-wang nga nagsuroy-suroy. Yes. Ato na nang ipanghingos gan ron. And even, uh, that is the task of the HPG. Yes. No? So, the HPG and our traffic personnel will be in charge with that. And as of now, ato na na siyang gidisseminate uh, information dissemination through our community relations ng mga personnel ng, uh, to inform the public uh, not to use these sirens uh, and ganing mga wang-wang na to, no? and blinkers. Uh, only The only authorized nga mo gamit ani is the police, the ambulance, and the Bureau of Fire. So wala na ilain nga makagamit. Ano. Bisag mga politiko, sir. Yes. No? So we refrain. Kung ang politiko, do na sila escort, do na sila hatak. So ang katong hatak is the one authorized to use the uh, wang-wang. Katong mga uh, HPG personnel na to. So technically, ang ilang sakyanan, sir, dili yun unta ang ay butangan? Yes, wala gina siya. So wala gina siya. So we are also sending letters. Sa karoon, ato na sila ang ipadalhan o ah. letters because for sure, they will also be advised by the uh, DILG. Right. So kung uh, ang mga politicians, they will be also advised by the DILG with the directive of the president. Okay. So, yes. Okay. Atong intern from my TV. Hi, my name is Sofetskaya Imperial, uh, my TV intern. So, I would like to address this question to Sir Adrian. Um, sir, about the plastic barter stores project, um, how do you see this going? in the next couple of years? Uh, this project is actually very active in Luzon area already, the Aling Tindera program. Uh, they are looking for sari-sari store owners who are willing to accept plastics also. No? But the suggestion of Colonel uh, of police stations collaborating, this is actually a very good uh, project that we can start, Colonel. No? Um, if I would like to invite other groups, no, even the media organizations, no, if you are able to uh, open more of these barter stores, no, so they actually will, the 
of course, it takes a process, but they will actually give you a container van uh, to store the plastic for security reasons. It's only here in the barter store in Balay Samaritano. Uh, we don't have one because we already have a physical store and there's no space also. No? But uh, if there are barang we're actually looking for barangay, uh, uh, barangays that are willing to have this kind of setup. But to be sustainable is that you should have your own business. Uh, for example, a sari, sari store or a calendaria, then the, bar the plastic barter store is behind, beside it. The Aling Tendera no? is beside it. So, dili man baho kay we only accept uga and limpyo nga plastic. So, inyo na nang waswasa. No? So, that's the concern mostly. Baho niya ang plastic. No? We don't uh, accept those kind of uh, soiled plastics. No? So, kung man niyong inom si mong milk tea, Tangtanga ang kuan, tangtanga tong mga bubble nga wa ni muna kaon, then clean it, then you can already sell it no? or donate it in the Aling Tendera uh, plastic recycling store. All right, sir. Follow up question, sir. Um, uh, just for in encouragement purposes, are you confident that um, this project will create a great impact, especially in Cebu, and also um, it will be an inspiration sa other places, put, sir? Uh, I've always believed, even in my own personal business, everything starts small. No, bisang paggamit sa drugs, is sugod na sa gamay human na himo na dagko, no nga ko ano. So everything starts small, good or bad. No, so sigita reklamo ng baha, sigita reklamo walay mo walay atong basuriro dili kwa onang plast atong basura. No, but here is now an opportunity nga ang plastic. Ma-recycle gyud siya, maning kamot lang gyud ta, mag-effort lang gyud ta nga og limpyo, di ba? It takes really an effort to do so, no? Imagine mag-inom kag milk tea, ya, imo gyud na bitbiton abot sa balay kay imo limpyuhan. That's an effort, right? Or kaon ka og kanang kanang mga pack lunch nga styro, ya, imo gyud tong gisod og bag nimo kay imo hang ugasan para sa environment, no? But when will we start? And we we can it has to be a habit. No, we have to recycle uh, as a habit. No, so uh, this is actually, uh, I think, we should inculcate it. No, to to our our mindset. No, okay. When you go to other countries, for instance, they don't throw away their garbage. Very few garbage cans in public because they want the public to bring their garbage at home, recycle, uh, recycle, segregate. No, so th yeah. So this has to be. Uh, I just want to plug in uh, Arts for Culture again because this is the event that's really coming already this Saturday. Uh, after the one-week uh, event, uh, we are planning to actually do it online. Uh, an online gallery that still uh, supports uh, this kind of advocacy. So that time, we will already open to other artists who wants to be part of that. Uh, all over the Philippines or not e uh, even all over the world no? so who wants to put their paintings in that uh, site uh, where they can choose paintings that can also help children with cancer. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. How about for the possible beneficiaries? Sir, kung doon mga nagtanaw, Annie, and they have a child with cancer at home who needs support, how can they go to Cebu Centennial Lions Club for aid, sir? Uh, right now, we are actually uh, working with organizations like uh, Kite Foundation. Uh, and also, at the same time, uh, we, we are still waiting for Vicente Soto because they are our preferred uh, Pedia Award uh, uh, partner. Uh, it's difficult for us to screen if they will directly go to us. So, yeah, because basic na mga swindlers Manila, Mwari Magdag pretend to be cancer uh, patients. No? So we want to prevent that. And uh, these organizations and these hospitals have a good screening process. No? So we work with them. Uh, we don't work directly with uh, uh, the, the parents who, who will contact us directly. Thank you for that question, Andrea. That's actually very important. Thank you. All right, so, yeah, so we have 14 minutes left. This time we will give our panelists the opportunity to plug any activities upcoming for CCPO, Cebu Centennial Lions Club, or reminders to the public na gusto ninyo mahinom duman, sir. Uh, for the Cebu City, no, uh, we would like to remind uh, the public, not only, especially not only in Cebu City, but uh, the whole, as a whole, no? Uh, kaning ato ang national police clearance, I, I would like to give uh, 
emphasis on the national police clearance is that uh, as of now, mas daghan natang mga company nga mo require og national police clearance rather than NBI because ang ato ang national police clearance once madaka sa istasyonan unya mablatter ka diha sa istasyonan bisan unsa nga reason nganong nadaka sa istasyonan unya nabutang ang imungan sa blatter it will reflect to the national police clearance ba, regardless sir? og na filean ka og kaso even though katong mga na, na apprehend lang for not wearing face mask or nagkatong naghubog-hubog as long as nga mablatter ka uh, nagbacktrack na ta ang atong na complete og record is up to 2012 and we are uh, targeting that we can uh, backtrack up to 2000 no nga blatters so nagsige na tag retrieve sa to ang mga blatters para ma-entry na to sa to ang uh, national police clearance so dili na ni siya para sa una nga kung nakasa ka sa Mandawi are ka mukuha sa Cebu City og police clearance kay aron wa kay record but as of now bisang pagtuo ka sa hulo bisan to apa ka ngadto sa uh, pinakatumyan sa Luzon once madaka sa estasyonado it will reflect ang imuhangan with records sa to ang national police clearance that is why i uh, would like to appeal to the public nga magbinuotan kita nga dili ta madala sa estasyonan bisan pa og hubog-hubog because it will reflect sa imuhang record once mukuha ka og National Police Clearance. Kano saan lang niya na implement, sir? Dugay na ni na to ang ato ang National Police Clearance. And then, as of now, nagsige na ta o backtracking. No? So, nag-back encoding na ta. And we're targeting uh, up to 20, uh, 2,000 nga records ato ang blatters. Kaya ang katong biyan, 2,000, wala na tayong mga record. No? So, 2,000 onward, once you are... Uh, apprehended basta or wa ka basta dadala ka sa istasyonan na blatter ka sumo reflect kina siya sa tuang uh, national police clearance muna siya part sa tuang uh, siras no nga kaksa kong giingon nga database na ta so once nga badala ka mo reflect na kumukuha ka og national police clearance sige thank you so much Colonel Parilia again Sir Adrian Lee any other activities that you'd like to plug or again, once again, invite them to the upcoming Art for Cure exhibit? Uh, I'd like to invite again uh, everybody, uh, July 23 to 30, the Art for Cure uh, exhibit at City Sports Club Lobby. Uh, this is a, a fundraiser for children with cancer. No? Um, at the same time, we would like also to encourage everybody to support the Aling Tindera Plastic Barter Stores uh, we have two here in Cebu City, no? the one in uh, near Cathedral in uh, Balay Samaritano, at the same time in Second Heart Parish in Hakosalem. Uh, let us clean Cebu one sachet, one bottle at a time. So let us uh, also support that. And encouraging all other groups, either UR Alliance, Rotary, uh, whatever it is, if you wish to help open more of this Aling Tindera barter store, uh, get in touch with us. We have a Facebook page. Send us a message. We would be glad to collaborate with you. And I'm looking forward to the collaboration with the PNP uh, office uh, for this collection of plastics also. I'm, maybe we will invite again the media, Colonel, <laughs> when we launch that. So thank you very much for the opportunity to share uh, this uh, project. Uh, that we have. Thank you so much, Sir Adrian. And we're also very grateful for these worthwhile initiatives for the community. And again, Colonel Parilia, daghan sad ka yung salamat for your efforts and of course for being here and sharing your insights and most importantly, your time with the members of the media and of course our online viewers. And we'd also like to take this opportunity to thank Casino Español for being our home for the past two months of Open Line News Media Forum. We hope that we could visit here again soon for our upcoming episodes. But once again, daghan kayong salamat to Casino Español. Thank you so much to our friends from the media again for being here. Daghang salamat, Sir Eric. Og magkita kita na usabta sunod martes alang sa la inasab nga interactive ug engaging nga discussion kabahin sa mga relevant nga mga issues mahitungod sa business, politics, security, arts, culture, entertainment among many others. Once again, this is Andrea Patania Matthew.
Thank you very much, partner. And again, daghan kayong salamat, and we'll see you all next Tuesday. Thank you. Very good.